EV batteries lie at the heart of every BEV and are a critical component for all PHEVs. They represent a significant technological challenge for reasons that we'll explore later in this mini course. We can develop a set of broad baseline requirements for an EV battery. It must handle high power input from charging and from regenerative braking. It must have significant storage capacity. For small BEVs and PHEVs, between 4 and 30 kilowatt hours. For larger BEVs, over 60 kilowatt hours. Today, these requirements are addressed with two dominant battery chemistries. Lithium ion, which is the dominant battery for BEVs, and nickel metal hydride the common battery choice for PHEVs. But a number of other chemistries are in various stages of research and development. We'll talk more about them in part three of this mini course. Regardless of the chemistry, battery requirements cannot be considered in a vacuum. The obvious competitor for EV batteries is the ICE vehicle energy storage medium, gasoline. Gasoline has an energy density of 13 kilowatt hours per kilogram. That's over 100 times the energy density of a lithium ion battery. But we have already learned that electric propulsion is much more efficient than internal combustion engines. 80% for BEVs versus 20% for ICE. The implication is that if EV batteries can store one quarter the energy, they can achieve the same range as an ICE vehicle. The challenge is achieving that goal. So, everyone talks about batteries when they discuss EVs, but some folks really don't understand how a battery works. Let's take a simplified look. The U.S. Department of Energy describes a battery this way. Batteries are devices that convert stored chemical energy into useful electrical energy. Batteries are built from cells that contain very specific components, a conducting material called an electrolyte and electrodes called cathodes and anodes, as well as one or more separators that are placed between the cathode and anode. A cathode is an electrode that is negatively charged and is a source of electrons. That is, electrons flow out of the cathode toward the anode. An anode is an electrode that is a destination for electrons. That is, electrons flow into the anode, which is often depicted as having a positive charge. A separator is a permeable membrane that separates electrodes and allows electrons to flow between them. All of the components, the electrolyte, the electrodes, and separators are fabricated into a cell that is built individually and forms a complete battery. Cells are connected to one another as one addressable unit called a module. Finally, modules are organized into a pack so that they can be controlled by a battery management system, the BMS. The BMS addresses a variety of operational concerns we'll consider in parts two and three of this mini course. EV batteries are built using a production process that begins with the basic components and ends with a complete EV battery integrated into a vehicle. Let's consider the steps involved. During component production, the electrolyte, anodes, cathodes, and separators are built into the specification of the battery under consideration. Cell production creates an individual cell, an actual battery that becomes the basic building block for the EV battery. An EV battery may contain many thousands of cells. Module production groups the cells into an easily addressable subassembly so that each can be controlled by an appropriate management subsystem. Pack assembly combines modules with the appropriate management subsystems to manage power, charging, and thermal issues. Finally, integration places the pack into the EV 
with the appropriate hooks for the battery management system within the vehicle. The capacity of a battery pack is directly proportional to the number of modules and the number of cells per module and depends on a variety of technological characteristics that we'll discuss in part two of this mini course. As we learned in earlier EVU mini courses, battery capacity is measured in kilowatt hours. Small batteries are typically used in PHEVs and have a capacity in a neighborhood of four to 15 kilowatt hours. For example, the Prius plug-in PHEV has a 4.5 kilowatt hour battery. Moderately sized batteries are found in both PHEVs and some small BEVs and, are tip and typically have a capacity between 16 and 35 kilowatt hours. For example, the Nissan LEAF BEV has a battery capacity of 24 kilowatt hours. Large EV batter batteries remain relatively rare. Only the Tesla Model S offers battery sizes in 60 and 85 kilowatt hours. The big questions, why is battery capacity so low? And why can't we build them bigger and better? We'll consider these questions in the next part of this EVU mini course.